Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got some really interesting bodybuilding updates and we're gonna start with some Toronto Pro updates. So we got a physique update finally from Akeem Williams a couple of days out of Toronto Pro and yeah, I said it immediately as soon as I found out he's doing Toronto Pro, I didn't see a physique update but now that I'm seeing it, yeah, that, that's it, it's in the bag. He is winning Toronto Pro hands down, nobody can stop him. Not John Drude, not Hassan Mustafa, not Quinton Raya, Andrea Prest is not doing it, so it's gonna be an easy Mr. Olympic qualification for Akeem Williams. Because as you can see, this freaking mass monster is bringing conditioning as well. And you guys saw him in the Iron Classic UK, he looked phenomenal, he placed third right behind Samson. And from the front and from the sides, he was comparable to Samson Davoda. I'm not saying he could have beaten him, no, 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 but he looked really good compared to Samson, who is like third best bodybuilder in the world right now. And the other guys doing the Toronto Pro are not really at this level. I mean, Akim took six at the Mr. Olympia at one point, and this year he was close to, you know, kind of being compared to the top guys, to Hardy and Samson. From the back, yeah, he's not that great, but still, still, overall, he has so much muscle. He has enough muscle to compare to guys like Nick Walker, Hardy Chopin, Samson Dowd, and the others, like the top tier, top first call out in the Mr. Olympia, guys. As I said, he was 6th at the Mr. Olympia at one point when he was in condition, so for Akim it's all about conditioning, he has crazy shape, like crazy picky biceps, insane legs as well, I mean so many great things about his physique and as you can see he's bringing really good conditioning and this moment you may notice that he is flat, he is definitely flat but it's part of the process, it's that time of the week, later he's gonna carb up, fill out and like there is no chance he's not gonna be in shape, he is peeled man, he is as peeled as he was for the Arnolds, and it's enough, it's enough, it's gonna do it, there is no chance of anybody defeating him, the other guys are looking great as well, but nobody's at this level, not in my opinion, uh, for example we have uh, John Jewett, and we got an update from him, at 4 days out of Toronto Pro, and this guy is freaking shredded, and as you can see he's nailing the peak, he's definitely not gonna be off because he knows his stuff, he always does pretty much the same kind of peak week, it's all based on what he sees that day, he's coaching himself, so like there is no chance of missing it, uh, not this year, not at this show, definitely much much larger than he was back in 2012 or his last open show he did, I'm not sure exactly what he weighs, he doesn't say that in his updates, he only tells us how much he lost, how much he gained, but we don't know the exact number, yeah, the glutes are peeled, the hamstrings as well, I mean, he he's definitely really conditioned, this is before he carved up as well, so this is him being flat, right, does he look flat, absolutely not, I mean, you can notice that he is a bit flat, but with this much density, you don't even look flat when you're flat, he said in this update that he's about to start his carb up process, so he's gonna definitely look fuller, I just hope he's not gonna lose the leg separation when he gets fuller, that's the, that's the issue with John Jewett, he doesn't have the deepest cuts in the quads, especially when he's too full, I mean when he is flatter like this you can see some, but usually on stage his legs are not the most separated, and standing next to Akeem whose legs are insane, super deeply separated, it's gonna be an issue, but you know, I don't, even if that was improved, uh, I still don't think he can take out the Kim Williams, no, no, I mean, John is amazing, but this is his first year working on being an open guy, last year he was prepping for 212, and he jumped into an open show at like, I don't know, 220, something like that, so it wasn't his sole focus the entire year, this time around he took an off season, he progressed, he got bigger, and he peaked for an open show, and that was the, the whole plan this year, so it's gonna be a different, different John Jewett for sure, like I said, I have no idea where he's weight wise, but I would say he gained around 10 to 15 pounds, which is a crazy gain for a guy at that level, I mean at that size for his height, you can see that he is just big everywhere, he's just freaking round and full and like he has a lot of muscle, a lot of muscle and he has that grainy, really grainy look, so with his conditioning now and with these new gains, new muscle, uh, I think this is gonna be a very clear top 2 against Akeem Williams. I don't really see him winning, but I do see him defeating Hassan Mustafa and Quinton Araya. And we got updates from those two guys as well, let's check them out. We don't have much from Hassan, we got this little snippet of his back, 
and I gotta say he does look drier compared to that uh, physique update that he posted a few days ago. I mean, is he gonna be dry enough to be, you know, competitive in that top three? I don't think so. I don't believe so. I mean, you can see that he dried out in his upper body, his back, his shoulders, his arms are looking drier, but how much water was there in his glutes and hamstrings and quads? I don't think that was just water. I think it's just fat. So I don't think he could have dehydrated that much to be, you know, as good as the other guys who are really peeled, seriously peeled. So I think based on his muscle mass, he might outmuscle Clinton Raya and defeat him based on that. But I'm not even so sure because Quinton filled out nicely. Here is a difference. Five days out of New York Pro and five days out of Toronto Pro on the right. Obviously, he does look a lot fuller. Conditioning looks pretty much the same. And he is 10 pounds heavier. So yeah, it definitely had something to do with the peak week, apparently, because, I mean, he can't get back the muscle he lost, and he did lose tissue in this prep. I mean, he's gonna require an entire new off-season and a different approach to prep, but this season, he can definitely make some changes. As you can see, he's doing that right now. He definitely does look fuller. If you watched his stories, or if you watched my videos, you probably saw that he was eating pizza and all kinds of junk food uh, the entire week before this show and <laughs> considering what he ate it's crazy that he's this dry i honestly wasn't expecting this i thought he was gonna be super watery at this point i thought he was gonna try to spill over and then dehydrate the last moment which is a protocol people do that you know front loading but no, apparently his body is taking all that junk food really well. I have no idea what he's doing with water, though. But, I mean, he definitely does look pretty dry. I don't think his conditioning is worse at all. And he's probably gonna dry out a little bit more and maybe even fill out more. I mean, I don't know if he can be any fuller than this because here he's definitely blasting full. Conditioning is good. Uh, I think he, he's gonna look more polished than Hassan Mustafa, for example. But Hassan is, like, probably the biggest guy in the IBB today. <laughs> so, I mean, that much muscle can take him a long way, can help him defeat guys who are, you know, better peaked, more polished, but smaller, like Quinton Araya. So, I think it's gonna be a very interesting battle, like apples and oranges, you know. Hassan is also very short, and Quinton is very, very tall, uh, Quinton is obviously in better conditioning, but Hassan is a freaking tank. So, yeah, it's gonna be very interesting to see those two guys compare and to see who's gonna place where. On the other side of the pond, we have Sas Heirati making his comeback, I think, six years after his last show. Once again, for those of you who started following bodybuilding closely recently, six years ago, this guy was one of the top guys, basically. He almost won the New York Pro. He was beaten by Sergio Oliva. You can argue that they gave it to him because he has a huge name, but I don't know. I don't remember really if it was fair or not. I do remember Sas leaving a really good impression with his crazy muscle bellies. He was, he was really impressive at that time, like, he was so bubbly, he had that plastic look, kind of like Phil Heed, everything was just so popping, and the separation was so deep, and everything looked so clean, really impressive physique, I don't know what is the reason for him taking a, taking a long break, but he's back, and he is back, I would say, better than ever, I don't think he looked like this before, I don't know if he's gonna have the same pop to his arms and legs, especially, because... He's an older guy now, I mean, he was a lot younger back then, so he had a fresh look, now it's gonna be a little bit different, but he definitely does have better conditioning now. Now he has that maturity, that graininess, you're gonna see a video as well, but in this photo, man, he looks, he looks really good, and he is one and a half weeks out of Ampro Cup Spain, where he's gonna face guys like Rijo, like Behru Stabani, like William Bonek, it's gonna be a whole bunch of great bodybuilders doing that European show, it's a big show here, so we'll see, maybe he can win, I don't know, it's, 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 it's definitely a dark horse, I mean, I don't know what to expect from a guy who we haven't seen on the stage compared to the new guys, the current crop, I don't know what to expect, but from what I'm seeing right here, this is looking crazy. Now, he is a shorter guy, he's not exactly the biggest man, you know, he might look small compared to guys like Krijo or Behru Stabani, but I think he's gonna compare well to somebody like William Bonek. I personally, at this point, do have him 
I mean, I can't say I have him beating Bonak. I don't know what the Bonak is going to look like. I don't know what this guy is going to look like on stage. I have no idea what his back shots are looking like, what all his poses are looking like. But, you know, he, got, he, he definitely has enough muscle. He has that crazy roundness. He has the conditioning. He has crazy aesthetics, crazy, crazy shape. You know, very bubbly, very plastic type of look, if you know what I mean. Clean look, like Phil Heath. So he's definitely very impressive. And he's coaching himself, which is refreshing to see, because these days, I mean, all the credit really goes to coaches. I mean, back in the 90s, when coaching existed, you know, it started in the 90s, still the coaches didn't get that much credit for their athletes. Like, when Ronnie Coleman was winning, nobody was talking about Chad Nichols, right? Even though he was helping all these guys, like Flex, like Nasser, uh, Milo Sharch was helping so many guys. We barely even knew about the coaches, and today, you know, it's all about the coaches more than the athletes. So it's interesting to see that somebody is prepping completely by themselves. Sass is doing that, and look at him. He is definitely doing a phenomenal job. He got in really good condition, he has great fullness, and I don't think he can miss. I don't think he can miss. I don't know what guys like uh, Crisio and Becruz are going to bring, but oof, I don't know. It's going to be very interesting. I think this guy has a good chance of even winning that show. The only thing that's kind of worrying me a little is the back. This, to me, kind of looks like an old man back. It's a little bit atrophied. I don't know if it was better back when he was younger. I don't think it was that good based on the photos. But here, I mean, it doesn't look like a great back. And you know that Bona has an amazing back. And Krizio has a pretty good back. Uh, Bakrus Tabani as well is pretty good in that area, so because of that, it's gonna be tough to say that he's gonna win, but we'll see what he's gonna look like on stage, although from the front, he's gonna be really impressive for sure. Alright, next up, we got a little physique update, a little teaser from Rubil Muscara and Exila, and damn, this makes me go, what the hell, what the hell am I even seeing here? Look at these freaking legs, this is enormous, this is insane, look at the freaking quads, what the hell, did he even grow them even more, is this even possible, how much muscle can fit on one slag, I mean, where will the muscle go, this looks like it's photoshopped, this doesn't look real, this doesn't even look human, it's, it's so insane, I mean, what the hell is going on? And yeah, he received a lot of criticism for his legs being too big for his upper body. So did he take his foot off the gas pedal or did he try to grow them even more? I think he grew them even more. I mean, I definitely don't think they're smaller. Are they the same size? Pff, I don't know, man. They're either the same size or even bigger. Because this is looking insane, insane, mind-blowing. What the hell? But overall, conditioning uh, is looking good. He's preparing for the Dubai Pro. He's in the Kuwait at the Oxygen Gym. That's where he's training and prepping for the show. Uh, as you can see, like, yeah, he's going to be conditioned, but he's not going to have the deepest details in his quads. I mean, <laughs> with this much muscle, it's impossible. But uh, those legs are going to be... They're going to dwarf everybody. I mean, so many guys are going to be embarrassed when they stand next to him. They're going to feel like they never did a leg day in their life. So, we're gonna see that, we're gonna witness that, and also an easy Mr. Olympia qualification for Nexilla. I don't think there is anybody that we know of who is doing the Dubai Pro that can stop Nexilla at this show, so he is going to the Mr. Olympia, where we're gonna see him compared to the other top guys, big guys, I'm really looking forward to seeing him next to guys like Nick Walker, with his legs, he's gonna smoke Nick Walker in the lower body. I'm also curious to see him next to Andrew Jack, who I don't know if he's gonna compete this year, but we'll see. But yeah, I think he's gonna qualify, and I think he's gonna be a great addition to this year's Mr. Olympia. And finally, we got a new physique update from Regan Grimes. Is this guy playing with us and actually prepping for the show? Just not wanting to tell us about it? I mean, I don't know. He has the best is yet to come loading percents he didn't say how many percent is he at like Hadi likes to say and full of their comments when you're coming to the podcast we need to discuss these gains like there is a lot of comments commenting on his physique right now so i don't think this is an old update because they're talking about his gains and he says the best is yet to come loading blah 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 i mean if he's posting old shots it wouldn't be cool so i don't think he's doing that and why is he so lean He's really lean, really detailed. I mean, he's not ready for the show. I don't think he's going to jump into the Toronto Pro. 
But I'm not saying he couldn't. I mean, I don't see the glutes and the hamstrings, but from the front he does look very dry. Maybe he simply chose to stay really lean during the offseason, not gain any fat, just look really good the entire year and try to progress as much as possible with training, you know, do a lean gain, kind of like what John Joyt is doing, it worked for him, maybe it's gonna work for Egan, I don't know, we'll see, I'm not sure exactly what this is, is it an old photo or an update, but if he looks like this now, yeah, he said he's gonna compete in 2025 next, but maybe he can jump into the show this year and qualify and go to the Mr. Olympia again. What do you guys think? Tell me down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And for more content like this, guys, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best. And bye-bye.